guys god bless welcome back to my channel i am charlene and i need to turn this camera on and talk to you guys i just used a uh, blue magic on wash day and i don't even think i ever mentioned this or even compare it to the other grease but a lot of people always ask can i use it for relaxed hair can i use it for thin hair um maybe sensitive hair you know and i just wanted to come on and discuss this because this is really important okay so this blue magic i just used on wash day and i realized how thick this one is this one is a really thick grease i'm talking about <laughs> when you get some out and put it on your hair it's gonna sit there and, and unless you do some work now Reason being is because it is to prevent hair breakage, right? So probably thicker to hold on longer and better. However, if you can imagine using that on someone who has, I don't know, permanent relaxed hair or um, really brittle hair, like you're probably going to be mad because it's just going to sit there. It's going to be a lot. So I just want to come on and say that very quickly in comparison to the others that I have. I personally think that probably the lightest will probably have to be between Blue Magic Original and hmm, I'm torn between, I think castor oil is pretty light. Even though castor oil is a heavy oil, this particular grease was really light. I'm trying to decide because I don't want to tell you guys anything wrong. This coconut one was pretty loose too. It was a, a pretty loose grease. Hmm. It's funny because I don't think I ever like, I assumed and I mentally thought like these were pretty much roughly the same as far as texture with maybe a slight difference, but not enough that where I was thrown off by this one where I can honestly say like, yo, this one is thick. <laughs> this is a really thick grease. So you wanna make sure your hair is wet or damp. Like do not put that one on dry hair. I don't know why I think smelling it would give me an answer, but I'm almost positive for sure without a shadow of a doubt that at least, at least, I just, I probably can do one, two, three. This will probably be, um, I don't know, because the coconut oil one's really light too. Hmm. If I could put these in order, or if I can at least give you the four Lighter ones, it would definitely be Blue Magic Original, Blue Magic Coconut Oil, Blue Magic Castor Oil, and Blue Magic Olive Oil. Like these would have me, in my personal experience, these are the lighter ones. And then now that I'm thinking about it, the rest of them are probably thicker. Um, this one's probably in the middle, the Shea Butter one. If I can remember correctly, now I'm going to go and use them all, all over again to make sure. Because what I did with this hair, I still had my four sections like I would do plaits. But instead of doing plaits, I just sectioned it in four and greased it really well and then put it back into one. And that's probably what I'm going to do from here on out. So I will just turn the camera on while I do that process. And we're going to figure out together just how thick or rich or light they are. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. But of course, I'm going to do it on camera. Um, I don't think they're necessarily, like I said, I was kind of blown away how thick one this one was. So it's safe to say that this one is probably the thickest one, like my personal opinion. And then, you know, working your way on around, um, which the rest of them, this one probably a little thick too. This one... And the Indian hemp. The Indian hemp is probably the thicker one out of the, these two. And then follow suit. 
This one was nice and airy. It wasn't too heavy. But like I said, they're, the rest of them kind of give me similar textures. Like, if I remember correctly. So, I want to say naturally you go with what has more oils in it. But I don't even think you can do that in this case because... This one has what mineral oil, petroleum. So, and then like the coconut oil just has like coconut oil <laughs> and Leyland. Like, so it's like, you know, because obviously the base of all of these is petroleum. But this one here, I don't know, maybe the uh well, okay, mineral oil is second on this one. Mineral oil is pretty thick. So that might be what's going on here. The second ingredient in this one is mineral oil. The second ingredient in this one is safflower um, seed oil or safflower oil. That's a pretty light, fluffy oil, so that might explain that. And then the second ingredient in this is shea butter, so that will explain why this one's kind of in the middle because but shea butter is not necessarily heavy and hard, but it's not light either. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this one would definitely be in the middle, the shea butter one. And then this one, the second oil is coconut oil so then it goes into lanolin and then it goes into the rest of the oil so this one like i said is interesting because this one's petroleum lanolin um lecithin or lecithin and then mineral oil so kind of weird kind of weird i don't know and these all are new like i didn't get them old or anything um same thing with this one this one's petroleum lanolin so maybe lanolin needs to be the second ingredient so all of them so that they can actually be loose but this one olive oil is second that's why i like this one i love this one y'all know my favorites we don't went through that castor oil is second so maybe a oil definitely has to be second or third in these and mineral oil is the deal breaker where it's thickening up the grease where it feels different than the rest because like this one's coconut oil that one's going to be coconut oil as the second ingredient so that might be something to look into as well when you're shopping for future grease pay attention to the first ingredients because they matter they matter more than just what you like and what your preference are it also may determine the texture and the thickness of your grease and you want to keep that in mind like i said castor oil is typically thicker it's a thicker oil so it's mineral oil. Mineral oil is really thick. So keep that in mind. Coconut oil is real light and fluffy. It's just not as moisturizing as the other. So again, keep all of that in mind. Y'all know my preference is to at least mist your hair before you put grease on it. Yes, grease can be applied to dry hair, but you're probably going to get more benefits if your hair is actually damp or wet, which is my preference. But you know, people do what's best for their hair. Um, obviously, I'm not asking you to spritz your scalp every time you want to grease your scalp. But, you know, the rest of your hair, you might want to make sure you at least spritz it with something. If it ain't nothing but rose water. Because the job of the grease is to keep in what's there. So, if your hair is already dry and you're putting grease on top of it, what moisture do you expect to be in your hair or to come into your hair? Which is why it's important to wash your hair regularly if you're going to use grease um, i went from washing my hair every week to every like week and a half which you know <laughs> might have been just the whole craze of the baby thing and everything but i don't know because as long as my hair is like this i don't mind washing it again because it's just going to go just like this and even this wash day i only split my hair in two um, until the end, the end I did for, but during the wash day, the wash period of shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, and leave-in, two sessions. So, well, no, four sessions for the leave-in, but yeah, and I did half in the shower, half in the sink. So when I got to the deep conditioner, I did that at the sink and 2023 might be the year to go back to the sink because at first I'm like, man, it seems like it's going to be a lot of work. And mind you, I'm, I don't feel great. And I still was like, hmm, that was all right. So who knows what to expect in the future, y'all. But stay tuned because that might be a change because I'm tired of getting hair all over me and getting clean hair out of the shower. I'm just tired. <laughs> um, and I got my sink area in a way where I will be more comfortable washing my hair at the sink. So 
yeah, you probably can't film it, but <laughs> at least I can come on camera and show you guys some of the process, like when I'm splitting my hair and this, that, and third. Like right now, today, I'm going to go around my edges with some grow grease. A lot of you guys have been asking, am I still using this? <laughs> yes, yes, duh. I'm still using this. So I'm going to use this until I can't use it no more. Uh, around my edges, I typically, like I said, I've been using that mainly. I do have some Suffer 8s here. I have not used those in a long time, but that's not to say anything bad about them. It's just, you can get Suffer and everything else with this one. So this is the wave right here. Yes, those are less expensive, but this tin can has been lasting me a really long time. So y'all might want to hop on that. But anyway, let me go get something else done while baby sleep. Love you guys. God bless. Take care.